everybody, welcome back to Tom Cruise Field. Uh, we got three of us here now. Me, Will Pettis, Adam Kinnig, and certainly not the least, Ben Emerson. Um, we're going to call this conference championship game uh, between Kaufman and Summertown. Third time these two have met. Of course, Kaufman, Kaufman won every time they played last year, like four times, and uh, they've won both times this season so far. Ben, seems like the first game that they met here, uh, it was a walk-off win in the seventh. It was. Yeah, really good game. And, and these are always good games. I mean, just the the whole idea behind the, the county rivalry sure. brings much more to it than just a regular game. So everybody yeah. steps it up during these. Of course, the game at Summertown really wasn't close at any point. We had some things going our way, uh, which – could go uh, Summertown's way today. You just that's the thing with baseball. You you never know. No. Yeah. They were all in the same spot. Looks like they put in the 18-inch plate today. Those are <laughs> right down the chalk line on the other side. Those are every one of them. Yeah. Can't blame Ryan for that, but I guess you get two strikes, you got to start swinging at some of that stuff. Yeah. As long as it's consistent, that's that's the that's the main thing. Makes it tough on a hitter, though. Cooper pitcher in the previous game against Marshall County. I fought that one off. I don't know if that's one, one ball, one strike. The first base for Cooper, Burlington. Cooper kind of bailing on that swing, too. It's a little low. One ball, two strikes. One out. Two, two. Got a piece of that one. Hang in there. I would like to have a dollar for every time Jeff Clinton has said that. <laughs> we'll open in, run a count full. It's a good at bat here by Cooper. Just foul off the close ones till you get one you can drive. And well, yeah. or swing at a bad one. <laughs> Sorry, Coop. I guess I jinxed you on that one. The batters. Number one, the D8, Jasper. Ayers, two outs. Callum's been a big force on the Kaufman uh, pitching rotation. I know we've seen him a couple times. Throwing it, book, throwing it well. Drove to Jasper. Just kind of rolled over that outside pitch to the right fielder. Quick quick one, two, three inning. We back for the bottom of the first is middle school baseball on the Exports Network. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions.
Bottom, right, of, bottom the first. of the first. Be number two, the right fielder, Jasper Kilburn. Jasper Kilburn leading off. All right, we got a little hook in here leading. Yeah. Pitching for Summertown. That's Finished out the previous game. It's going to get drive burned. by Kilburn. Yeah, that's hit hard. That's a, he may go three. I'd say so. Yep. Get it in, Brady. Well, that's first pitch. Triple. That was a ball. Ball. <laughs> ball two. I embarrassed her pretty good. Yep. I made everybody sing happy birthday to her. <laughs> yeah, we got ser serenaded by Jeff Clifton in the, uh, between games for Libby Kenning's 18th birthday. <laughs> she seemed to love every minute in it, every minute of it. And everybody else is still trying to recover. <laughs> Four straight balls. Now that last much. one. That last one looked like maybe been a, could have been called a strike. <laughs> you just don't get the benefit of the doubt when you throw them three in a row. That's true. Got him. He's out. Oh. Okay. We must not have yes. seen something from up here. <laughs> Ryan saying keep. I'm sure Ryan playing. and Jake are discussing it. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't tag him. That'll get a run in. So he and that. he's safe. Yeah. Kaufman's on the board. Still no outs. He's just far enough over there in the hole. Ryan was trying to hold him at second. And this is still just a big field for middle school. Yeah. It is, and those guys, I feel like those guys in the middle, especially the shortstops, get lost back there in that depth, and they're just not big enough and, yeah. you know, strong enough to make that throw. A lot of them aren't. And that's a nice pitch. Didn't throw that one over. Runners at second and third now. Another good pitch. Got a little flare out toward the right fielder. Jake's going to tag up. Oh, and he overran That's it. fair ball. Got to be caught. Yes, it does. All right, so still no outs. Runners at the corners. 2 nothing. Kaufman. Summertown kind of starting this one off like they did the, the last one. The batter is number 10, the shortstop, Chase Carr. Mound visit. All right, well, we'll take a quick break then. We're at Middle School Baseball Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours.
The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Still in the bottom of the first, no, still no outs. New pitcher, it's Hudson Kinnig. Sure, it's always fun to come in with runners in the corners. Pitcher runners there. now at Ball one. second, third. Someone asked what the two teams' records are. Kaufman's 19-0. They're easy to keep up with because they only have numbers on one column. <laughs> Summertown, I don't, we don't know. Oh, or Looks him back to third. That's the way it's supposed to work. Let's see if the defense finally show up. For Summertown, kind of. Grayson Rose wasn't playing the first time we uh, were here against Kaufman. He broke his finger. Mm. That'll get a run in. Mm -hmm. We're going to hear every word Stacy Gobble says below us. That's all right. It usually <laughs> pertains to the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that should be three nothing. Yep. I don't know, Ben. You you caught quite a bit more than I did. It looked like can gotta kind of bounce out and try to work on that a little yeah. better. Oh, that's just a bad that pitch. One you that's do a anything terrible with. pitch. Four nothing. Well, I don't think back up and play regular depth and try to get some outs and get out of this. Mess. Foul ball. What is is uh is Rose an eighth grader? He is, yep. Tall lanky kid. He was a new prospect transfer. Had to sit out most of the basketball season as an ineligible. That works the same way with uh, with junior highs it does or middle schools it does high school. Yeah. One year. He didn't uh, – he did not play baseball at New Prospect last year. Get it up yep. the middle. Yeah, right back up the middle. I thought Hudson had that for just one second. All right. Still one out. Now come to the plate, the D8. Number 33, Cole Elledge. Yeah, Kaufman will start um, – with very little experience next year, losing 
10 eighth graders. And the lineup, one through nine, is all eighth grade. Did y'all get me? Shot. Good shot. Yep. Got him. Cannon Stugs. So now there are two away. Two down, yep. I don't know Coach is having a little discussion with him over there. I don't know if he, they were on the same page there. Nice play. Nice play goal. by Ryan. Deep in the hole for the third out. All right. That'll take us to the uh, second inning. Uh, that was a pretty pretty lengthy uh, bottom of the first, but we'll be back for um, the second it's Middle School Baseball and Exports Network. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn $0.05 cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Larkburg, Tennessee. The pitcher Hudson Kidding's leading off this inning. Wow. Smacks into left field. Got into that one. Sure did. I guess I didn't have time to tell you there's a new pitcher on the mound. Um, Trenton Waller, who was already pitched today in the previous game, I believe. So Hudson Kidding on second base. Nice bunt. That does move the runner over to third. Little brother of Zach Staggs, senior for the high school Eagles. Is his brother here watching today? I haven't seen him. Sometimes you'll hear him holler out at him. Yeah, he don't he don't care to call on Cam. I know his his granddad brought him down, Lou. Yeah. Up and away. Right. Makes the count three and one. One out. Mm -mm. 
I think that may be one of the reasons his camp's got not hitting in the leadoff hole anymore. He's got a lot. He popped the ball up. Uh, He's got too much speed to be flaring it out there. To yeah. Him. He'll figure it out. Well, Ben, who's on the broadcast with us, was Mr. SHS in his time. And um, a long time ago. And in our broadcast this past week, I don't know, we had a lot of people from your baseball team talking, like Mark Pig, Adam Lindsay, uh, of course, before him, Timmy Kennig. And um, they were just a little, same stu- – and we even had Greg Barlison on a, a few um, innings with us in the baseball game as an interview because his softball game was rained out. So there's been a lot of Rick Haddock stories shared over the past week <laughs> on air. So be thinking in your mind something you might want to share and just add to our collection. Oh, I've got plenty of them. Do you? <laughs> so just, you know, an inning or two from now, uh, think of your best one or two, and, and we'll add it to our – we might put a, a collection together, <laughs> play for them one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. there, there's two that I tell all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> strike three. All right, well. No damage done uh, by the Eagles here. So we'll be back for the bottom of the second. This is Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. You know, Story and Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now. And a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Story and Lee Furniture. Since 1986, Southeast Carriers, Inc. has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, visit Southeast Carriers. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. All right, we're back for the bottom of the second. The number three, the pitcher, Trent Waller. Trent Waller, the current pitcher. Almost got hit. <laughs> Behind him. Uh, it's going to hang up. Uh, Hagen gets there. Interesting. I think he thought he was going to run into the left fielder. Kind of got down. It's pretty well hit, too. Now, baby, the second base with number 26, Harrison Wiley. Well, one out. Ben, you're talking about next year maybe being a little young and inexperienced, but I noticed your roster for this year is just huge. Like, I mean, you've got a lot of interest, clearly. Yeah, and, uh, you know, one – how do you miss that? Um, 
How did it not hit him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that the current coaching staff believes in is there's a lot of development that can happen sixth and seventh grade. And so rather than send a kid home to play video games, we just uh, get them a lot of practice and work. Um, you know, it may be a while before they see the field, but they're getting they're getting some reps. Have they got some good JV innings in this season? Or? Uh, decent, yeah. I mean, I I would like to see a, a JV schedule. Do you, Do you have um Do you have all those brother combinations like the basketball team had? We do, and we got a picture coming out. Oh, do you like that one? <laughs> I love it. It's good. It's good this year. Unfortunately, uh, like kind of where we're at this year, where you have one in next year, you have one in high school, one in middle school, and you're your split during the baseball season. Yeah. So yeah, you you missed you missed your son's high school game today. Yeah. But we were watching it here. We watched it on Exports. Thanks thanks to Exports. Yeah. AJ was there. He's the one man show. He can do the camera work and the announcing. That was just a good re redemption game. Boy. And again, that was against uh, the Georgia commit, right? Yes. Yeah, but there's still a little bitter uh, bitterness in the af after how that l the first game ended. Of uh, course, ball gets by the first baseman, but nobody advances. And I, I would like to see TWSWA step up and do something right and and change. That. I mean, if it's if it's a district game that's going to count towards something, then you got to be able to finish the game. And not well, you just don't give one team more. At bats than the other. Right. Out of play. Because in that game, we, two, we were. Two. That game, um, Giles County got seven, seven at, bats. at bats, and Lawrence County did not get to finish their seventh. Right. We had a runner at first and second, no outs, down by one, and a 2 0 count on the batter, and lightning, lightning struck, and they called the game. Yep, I was, I was actually walking up to watch that game uh, when the lightning struck, and we just turned around and walked right back out. But yeah, that was. What in the world? Uh, I think he was thinking foul ball. Uh, thought the ball was dead, but he made it all the same. I thought it was 3-2. Three, 3-1. Three, I, I might be wrong. I don't know. We'll never know. All right, got a bound visit. Yep. Like Eli Chun in the bullpen warming up. All right, well, we'll be, I assume there's going to be a change. Yeah, so we'll uh, take a, another commercial break. It's Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Gallery today. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower? Or your ATV? Or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese & More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. 
call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. I attended Cumberland University. After Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Welcome back. Jake Moore up to bat. Eli Chun is now pitcher. So far, he's thrown two pickoffs attempts. Runner goes. Strike is thrown. Final game of the day. My back and shoulders are kind of thankful for that. <laughs> One and one. So got everybody in on the infield. We're one out into the second inning, and this is the third pitcher of the day for Summertown. Jake wanted to go, but he didn't. Oh, He's going to be burned, isn't he? Yeah. Nice shot in the left field. One run scores. That's going to be it. Five nothing. Good hit. I was really glad he didn't swing at that previous pitch. The batters are 11, the catcher, Hood Maddox. Catcher, Hood Maddox. So this this HUD and your Hudson have met on the golf course a few times, I guess. Oh yeah, quite a few rounds. Stayed back on that curveball, hit it hard up the middle. Yep. Hagan misplayed that one, and overthrew. And he's in. Hmm. Double for HUD, two RBIs. That's why he threw it to the cutoff. Seven nothing. Yep. Now batting the first baseman number nine, Callum McCauley. Oh. Must have been up a little. All right, so this might be the game's getting out of reach. What what's your haddock story? Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
one of the uh, one of the favorites was uh, if you if you didn't look down there every pitch, he would he would yell for you to look at him to oh. give you a sign. He'd be in third base <laughs> third base yeah. coach's box and he'd say, "Look at me for a sign." Well, then when you'd look at him every time, he'd say, "What are you looking at me for? I can't hit for you." <laughs> I was like, I don't, listen, I don't know if I'm supposed to look at you or not. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't win either way. And then in uh, in 97, when we went to the state tournament, I was catching. We were playing on the Chattanooga Lookouts field. Right. And uh, there was a pop-up in front of, in, into the really into the dugout, and it was a one of the underground dugouts. Yeah. And so I'm chasing it, looking up, and all of a sudden the ground disappeared from under me, and I I went head first into into the dugout, straight to the concrete. And Oof. Three, two. Of course, Haddock is uh, just chewing out the other players for not not telling me where the dugout was. <laughs> and coming out of the dugout, when he's chewing on him, I, I was thinking, well, I ran right by you, and, <laughs> and you didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, we got it. So... Okay, now we've got Chase Carr up to bat. The batter's number 10, the shortstop, Chase Carr. Has Haddock ever explained why he didn't catch it? I guess that was just your teammate's <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's there. Runner tags going to third. He'll make it. So now you have runners at the corners. Two outs. Two outs. Of course, when Greg Bartleson did an interview with us, you know, I, I talked about how everybody talked about how Haddock wanted to make baseball fun. You know, a lot of horseplay, a lot of goofing off. And I was like, Greg, you just don't have that same reputation, <laughs> so to speak. It's like, you know, how do you explain that, you know, that you'd come out, you know, more of the, the you know, just kind of know more for the drill sergeant approach, maybe like more of the Phil Willard approach, you know. You know, I don't know how we didn't have more injuries because the um, the time we were there, or the time I was there, wrestling got really big. The NWO, oh yeah, WCW, Four Horsemen, or all of that started, and and we would before and after practice would uh, wrestle each other. And uh, good yeah. pitch. Todd Perry power bombed me. Oh. <laughs> So he's a big dude, too. <laughs> yeah, he was a lot bigger than me. One ball, two strikes, two outs. We'll get Adam to tell a Haddock story. I, I don't know <laughs> if there's any I could <laughs> uh, That's funny because – We did have a, a good time, yep. for sure. Because you, you, you caught Haddock at his beginning, and Ben caught him towards the, the end. More toward the end, yeah. I think it Ben is. was class in 99, I think he was done after the 01 season. Uh, following his son Trent, wanting to watch him play in college, waited on that curveball. Looks like Hagen's tracking it. Oh, Ooh. wow, <laughs> man, that's all right. So a few more runs come across to score. Finally, get out of that inning. Uh, we'll be back for the third. It's middle school baseball on the Exports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tennessee Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633.
Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. BRCU, not for profit, for service. started got third pitcher for them so ben this this little kid here is an eighth grader <laughs> and uh he hit six threes and one half in the basketball season in one of our games oh hagan yeah yeah he's out first squibber to the i got to work with hagan uh doing some speed and agility stuff at the hustle factory oh, okay good so I've I've known I've known him for he's pretty few years now. He's pretty quick and pretty agile. <laughs> yeah, it covers some ground in center field. Brady Holden. Ball one. Brady's mama would have played for Coach Willard, same basketball coach I had. He coached boys when I was going through school. Pitch right down the middle. I only had Coach Willard for uh, detention. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. That was what he did. He taught study hall detention. Yeah. And I tell you, you know, you think, oh, good, study hall. I got something easy. Like, I think he made sure anybody in his study hall was really studying. There was no, you could hear a pin drop the whole hour. Yeah, it was really quiet. And when you would uh, fall asleep and have a dream you were falling and kick and kick the back of one of those metal theater chairs, it really <laughs> echoed through the. <laughs> All right, uh, I think Coach baseball. Willard uh, came through Summertown a uh, when I was in high school, yeah, he did for a short stint, like strength and conditioning guy or something. I don't know. That yeah. was what I was told. I, he might have helped coach me be some. He did, and then he went to Collinwood. Um, when he came back, he was uh, McBee's assistant, and then eventually head coach. Um, he talks about Chris Kidd that he worked with him as a middle school freshman. He takes credit for him being able to dunk like he did. Of course, like that's that. his son, Chris Kidd, is of course a, had his senior night here on this field. Um, Andrew. Andrew, yeah. That was last night. Well, Chris Kidd, those those highlights of him dunking is something. Summertown's not seen anything like that since then. You know, we went to school with him. Chris was a couple years behind me, or. Right? Actually, one year younger than I was and two grades behind me, and I never knew he could jump like that until just from one game he just but he, he took um, off. And I heard he was even better baseball player. He was solid. Yep, he was a good player. But the the, the highlights we have of him dunking, you know, was from his senior year, 89-90, and that was Phil Willard's first year gone from Summertown. He's going to coach Collinwood, so all those dunks are coming against <laughs> Willard. <laughs> And so Willard's like, you know, I created this monster, and now it's being used against me. One ball, one strike, one out. 
runner at first. I've got 3-1. Okay. So we're at 3-1 now. Ben Emerson and I had Spanish together. He was two years behind, but for whatever reason, I didn't take my foreign languages till later. And we had Terry Perry's rookie year teaching. <laughs> she had Ben Emerson in class. <laughs> you know how emotional, I guess, first year teachers can be. But Ben, of all the teachers that were at Summertown when we were going through school, she is the only one left that's you know still there. Uh, as a teacher, I was tri that was answer to a trivia question in our class reunion. <laughs> you know what teacher is still there from 27 years ago? Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, Miss Kim Bright is uh, in administration there. I had, right. I had her in English, and I see uh, she's back. Yes, yeah. she's back. I, w I was I was a sub there yesterday, and when I walked up, she was. She was standing out front. <laughs> <laughs> she had like, this is like not, uh, nightmares. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no. You know, Kim's my first cousin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. have to yeah. I have to apologize to her every time I see her for. I probably should, too. I don't remember what I did, but I probably should, too. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, she, she was, um, I, I still give her credit for making college so much easier because she had us ready and prepared to write papers and uh, we because we wrote one a day it seemed like we hated it at the time <laughs> but i mean it prepared us for college better than anything yeah i i enjoyed school uh i had a lot of fun i did too i loved it i was at summertown high school three years and i loved it i've got a uh, two oh count well, two one. Yeah, I used the Zach Morris approach. It was a good way to kill time between the weekends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right back at us. Two two. One out. So, Ben, if they had had football in the 90s, would you have played it? Probably. Uh, I, I played the youth league here in, in Lawrenceburg up until I was, you know, too old. Yeah. And then we uh, we went to Kaufman. I was at Kaufman my seventh grade year and then moved, uh, transferred to Summertown in eighth grade. Oh, okay. Yeah. Adam, if they had football when you were in school, would you have played? Yes. I played two years. We had a – Summertown actually had a little league team. Really? Yeah. In the 80s? Yeah, in the early 80s. Wow. Maybe late 70s even. I was, I don't know, 9 or 10 whenever you Pop Warner started back then. Okay. Around 1980. Well, hit that'll score one for us. Maybe two. Yep, yep. I'll get two. Oh, oh, oh now what are we doing? Cooper's hung up. Seven up runner needs to go on the score, don't they? No. No. Every, he's still out because he didn't slide. Got an obstruction. Oh. He put him on base. Okay. He didn't. He couldn't slide. Well, I don't think he could slide when he had was oh, obstruction. On the, on the yeah. Yeah, so, that's what I mean. He couldn't slide it that that early. Will is what my point yeah. is. He did the right thing, make contact, make the ump do something. You got to do that. Yeah. We had that issue the other night. It, you got to call for the ball and get out of the way. So, bases are loaded. Yeah. It is seven to one. One. We scored one there. And Hudson Kinnick is up to bat. Two out. 
two one one out. Jasper's throwing a lot of pitches this inning. Golly, he cannot. We'll take a look at that one. <laughs> Look at the previous pitch. See what you think. A little out. All right. RBI walk. Yeah. Of course, now Jasper threw a little bit the first game, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. He came in to close. Yes, you can help. Here, uh, his mama, give us some advice. Yep. Oh, one. There it is, little grounder. He's got to beat it out, though, no. and they didn't. And Five, so four, three. So Summertown ends up with just the two runs. Uh, good defense there. We'll be back for the bottom of the third. It's middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. All right, bottom of the third. Music's still playing. Oh. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they will play. He's still got, they've already got one out in the scoreboard. I like it. Keep Jeff on his toes here. Is is this Ellidge yeah. up to bat? He's got a lot going Elledge on. Ellidge is up, yes. So 2-0. I don't mind. It's it. on the chalk line out yeah, here. I know. I don't <laughs> mind a little bit off the plate, but when the kids can't even hit it, you got to have a broomstick to hit that. <laughs> that's right up the middle. Is that going to? Yeah, it's going to get down. A little slice to it. We got the Hubble telescope up here in the <laughs> 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 The batter's over three. 
<laughs> She's taking a picture of somebody back home in Wayne County. I, think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I said back home. <laughs> I'll pick back to first. Hey, you know so. this young lady over here? Let me introduce you to her. Uh. <laughs> uh. That was uh, a was that I guess that's the ball. It was low, I guess. So we won one. We got one. Two and oh. And Cole has done a really good job in the DH position for, for Kaufman this year. Just continues to hit the ball well. Get the field looking great. Mm -hmm. I saw the aerial pictures in an earlier game. Oh, got him leaning. Ooh. Hey. Yep. Mm -mm. That was an early call. I think you tagged him about the uh, hip. Yeah, I think it might have been. I think that could have went the other way. Here's a look at it. He's in. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fired that up. That's a good play by Cooper. Never give up on it. Nope. Mad at me. I missed that one too, Cooper. Sliding oh. catch in there for Cooper. Out two. What am I doing? Oh, I thought that was out three. Well, I guess. Trying to get us out of here quicker. <laughs> So you got a birthday party to get to, don't you? Uh -huh. I don't know. We'll make that. <laughs> Since we got a second game, I think they're probably going to party without me. How many championships does Libby have to her name right now? State, tennis, and golf combined? Seven, I think. Well, no, it was two golf. She has four golf. Well, I asked her at Qantas the other day, how many golf do you have? She should have said she should have said four, but she's on the golf team. Well, actually, wait a minute. She may have five because she was on the, in the eighth grade, too. So I'd have to ask her. Uh, so the girls have won it every year, and everybody gets a ring, but like yeah. – the format is you take the you take three players and the top two scores is what counts. So I see. Maybe when she said two, it's only the last her. She's being humble. Her junior and senior year were the two years that her scores counted, and she actually got to play, you know, and have her score. And I know in tennis, was she was she, she was not on the the doubles champions, so she's got. She's got. I think she's got two, three three. Two, Two tennis champions because of COVID, maybe. Okay. Good job there. Oops, I missed the uh, play, but yep. Or maybe. All right, so we are going to the fourth inning. No score change there. It's seven to two. Middle school baseball on the Exports Network. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham.
All right. We're back for the fourth inning. Cannon Stags leading off. All right, need base runners. Yeah, just like last inning. Chip away at this thing. Make it a ball game. It's still uh, Jasper Kilburn pitching, I believe. So I have his pitch count on the screen, but, you know, he did pitch in an earlier game too. Just uh, one inning, I believe. 1-1 one, one count. A good pitch there. cam got to be swinging. Big hole uh, right, right center. Right center, yep. Two one. It's a big hole out there. Oh, right back at the pitcher. Yeah, they should get Deflected him. Deflected it just enough. Deflected it to the perfect spot. And right back to the second baseman. It's kind of. Are you ready to check, make sure the pitcher's all right. He's got him on the glove, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Batter's number ninety nine. Eli Chubb, the pitcher, with Hayden Smith on deck. One out. Good pitch. Yeah. Strike one. Eli got to go ahead hit in the last game. Good swing there. No two. Flared it to center field. Easy uh, out. Two quick outs. Comes Hagen. Batters number 77, center fielder Hagen Smith. Flared it up to the third baseman. First pitch. That right, should do it. All right, well, very quick, very quick. Top of the fourth. Uh, we'll be back for the bottom of the fourth. Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Forget which headset I'm putting on. <laughs> Sorry. He popped up in the right field. It's gonna be tough. Good effort there, though. Yeah, 
Casper. All right, 0 2 count. That's count 0 2. That's a couple good pitches. I got the wrong batter up here, Dad. Come on. Who is up to bat? Jasper Kilburn. Yeah, I'm way off. I got to go back to the ones. Oh, he mm. fisted it right up the middle. Yep. Ryan's going to make a play. I made a good play. Got him. Yep. Sure did. The batter's number seven for third baseman, Jake Moore. Now it's Jake Moore. Not seeing him on the mound today, so I bet you around Monday you'll be seeing him on the mound, I guess. That's going to be oh, a good play by oh. Hagen. <laughs> he kind of hesitated like he's going to get it on the bounce and decided to go ahead and get it. Didn't he? Good play. Good play. Hud Maddox. His parents have not bought him Evo Shield for Christmas. <laughs> so he took that one straight to the body. Well, he just had a birthday. If anybody's looking for a late birthday gift idea for him. Was his birthday yesterday? Happy birthday. Uh, happy late birthday to HUD. He doesn't get to run the bases very much, does he? No. no. Saving them catcher's legs. Yep. Ball one. Counts one and one, two outs. Runner at first. Ben, does Tom Cruise himself ever make his way to Tom he, Cruise Field anymore? He does. Yep. He will. Uh, usually, you'll see him drive his little truck up through here, and he'll watch practices. Come, come catch a game. Out three at second. Oh. Well, I'm glad he's still able to do that. Yeah. I mean, he's in his 90s. Got to be now. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for the fourth inning. Moving right along to the fifth inning. We'll be back in a few minutes at Sports Network. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. You know, Storingly Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now. 
and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Storing Lee Furniture. Brady holding up to bat. Nine hole hitter. I guess that was up. That, that looked like a good pitch to me. I guess it was up. He leaned back like it was up and in, but I don't know. But we're talking about Tom Cruise. That my one year at LCHS, my freshman year, I did get to have him in English. That was a trip. That's going to be good, oh. good scoop. Y'all were just talking about what a good first baseman he is in the previous game. He juggled that one. He did juggle it. He must have juggled it back but, in his I mean, But still, <laughs> to, to be able to grab that. Yeah. Number seven, Ryan Cabo. One out. We got activity in the bullpen. What we got here? I mean, uh, Camden Stag. Camden Stag's in the bullpen. Yeah. Mm. It was a lot harder than it had to be. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Try to get his first baseman kill, too. All right. Two outs. Tom Cruise is one of the few people that can tell you from living it all that the gospel museum in the square. He's one of the few people left, maybe the only one left, that actually has memories of it all. Cause he was not musical himself, but all his family was. So he would always give tours of that Vaughn Museum. Of course, he started the baseball program here, I believe. Why the field's named after him. 3-0. And, oh. and he's kin to me. He's my grandmother's first cousin, so however that works out, he's kin to me. Four straight pitches to Cooper. Four straight balls to Cooper. Now come uh, to the put him on. Through Desperate. I think Jesper got a good knock previous to bat, remember right? He did. Mm -hmm. Good hard ball. Good hard hit to right field. Ball up and out. Oh. Oh. He caught that one, too. He did. That ball down and in. That's going to score Just. one. Look at that throw to third. Nice. Good throw. All right. Some one-run scores. Jasper's worked uh, Year round on his on his hitting and it's it's showing this year for sure. He's getting bigger, stronger, making some good contact. He's just a good kid. I've coached him in baseball and basketball. Hudson up to bat now. So I always loved to play baseball. I know that when he's a little bit, he just loved to be out there throwing it, hitting it, whatever we were doing. He did. Butch Newell is sending me a rebuke. Tom Cruise is 88. <laughs> Not 90. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Butch is older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for him to know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> ah, popped it up the center field. We can go get it. Way over Golly. there. All right. So one yeah. run scores. Stayed up in the air too long. Summertown needs quite a few more, but they do need to. If you're a Summertown fan, you want to keep holding Kaufman. So, 
We'll be back for the bottom of the fifth. It's Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a -a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Since 1986, Southeast Carriers, Inc. has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here, you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, visit southeastcarriers.com. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal. All right. Got Chase Carr up to bat with now Cannon Staggs is on the mound. Got Camden pitching, Ryan catching. That's got a blue. right over Brady's head. Kind of. Yep. So one pitch. A little Texas leaguer. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Previous pitcher, Eli, did a good job. The batter is number 42, Grayson Rose. Brayson Rose at the bat. I assume there's still a lot of ball games going on. On these other fields in the distance. I see a lot of cars over that way. Yeah, a lot of tents over there, so. Yeah. A lot of all day Saturday stuff going on. Get to watch uh, little girl softball for the first time. Uh, you know, five year old, six year old. <laughs> Logan's daughter will be playing. She playing up here? Yeah. They don't have a league in Loretto, which is very surprising for softball. So all the, they got a lot of Loretto kids up here in Lawrenceburg playing. I'm sure she so if, if Loretto ever wins a state championship or something, Lawrenceburg can take credit for starting it all. <laughs> If they do, it's older ages. I don't know if they got anything for, you know, until you get to age 10, softball. Count's gone full. I don't know if we've seen Camden throw this year. I thought I think I've seen him throw. Maybe an inning or so. Yeah. Kind of got a little three-quarter delivery. It does. I was wondering about that. That ball tails to the. Really runs away from that left-hander. Yeah. In on the right-hander. But I was wondering about that because it don't seem like he does that as bad when he's throwing down or just a regular throw. Oh, that was golf blind. right off the top of the. Good play. Ryan's going to score. Hold. Eight to three, Kaufman. He pulled that right off the dirt. Mm-hmm. Let's say I thought he was going to swing at ball four, but worked out well for him. It did. The 
Still no outs. Looking to bunt. Lawrence County Baseball has Franklin County Monday and Tuesday. Runner goes. Ball is going to get the center field. Summertown has a very important game against Lewis County on Monday. It's the final district game left. Summertown has to win that game to stay tied for district first place with Loretta. And so then it comes down to runs allowed. Ooh. Ouch. Waiting on that one. That ball just keeps running keeps, in. And, and they don't know to get out of the way. It just keeps <laughs> running right at them. They already got bullpen activity, it looks like. You got somebody headed that way. So Peyton Kimbrough's there. Now, baby. Number three, Trent Waller. So, Summertown has Lewis, Loretta. Yeah, and uh, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. It's just a four-team district this year. Next year, they're getting a new one. A new team added, Battle Creek, yeah. under Coach Paul Lamb. Paul Lamb. How long, how long is that going to be? How long are we going to be? Two Creek? years. Two years. So this this because that school is huge. Yeah, and it's just the first the first year they're freshmen sophomores only. And then they'll be freshmen through junior. Right. That's so the second year, and then the third year they're gone. Right. Right. Because that's a three store. I mean, we could. Yeah. Put every student in Summertown in that high school. Oh, yeah. It's it's big. And just as <laughs> freshmen and sophomores, they're not going to be pushovers. No, that's a good group of kids. And they're all being Play. coached by Paul Lamb now at Spring Hill. Uh, not all, but. That Battle Creek bunch of eighth yeah. graders. There's some big, strong. There's some athletes in that bunch. So yeah. They're not going to be. Yeah, we struggled with Battle Creek last year. I think that was the one loss Kaufman had. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> they were. <laughs> we played them the other day. They're still. Uh, and I was shocked that they crushed us in football. Apparently, you know, you think I never know Battle Creek had a football team, and they were they were pretty awesome. Did you play them at home or away? <laughs> I guess it was uh, our home. I don't know if they have a field to play on yet. They do, they do, and they have. Is it tall turf? commentators that I mean it's an entertainment show the the whole game <laughs> really yeah uh, that's going to be tough get him at one get him at one there we go got one out runners. now runners at third and second third be Dylan Perry Dylan Perry now in the nine spot 17. Yeah. All right. I don't know who is that, Dylan Perry. Mm hmm. Batter at number 17, Dylan Perry. But I think Wiley's going back in to play second. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's fair. Oh, uh, we broke. What? It? Well, that's a bunt. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, squeeze, just like the coach designed it. <laughs> right off the knob. But you couldn't do that again. We tried 20 more times. Uh, you hear those old guys talking about when they used to bunt, they bunted with the end of the bat. You ever hear those old guys? No. Talk about, your old coaches talk about that? <laughs> like a, like they're using a cue stick playing pool. That's how good they were. You never heard those guys. No, I've never yeah. heard them say that. Oh yeah, they used to big end of the bat, you just and hit it like like a cue ball, put it wherever they wanted. They said, <laughs> right, right there is what we use for bunting. <laughs> those the lacrosse, oh, you see lacrosse sticks. Yeah, yeah. You see the lacrosse stick over there. Yeah. Maybe that's what Summertown needs to start doing since we're struggling with it. Uh, right off his glove, another run scores. 
Drive a coach mad. Yeah, if he's not already. Two outs, those routine plays got, just I mean, got to be made. Man, yep. It's like Will and I have talked about. You can't give a good team multiple chances. It just starts compounding. You can't. Well, one more run ends this. Am I right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Be eight. Eight after four. That was inside. There's just a lot of run on that ball. Yeah, if he could learn to, if he could learn to control <laughs> that, that'd be hard to handle. If he could start that thing about six inches off the plate. Mm -hmm. Try to see how he's gripping. Just a two seam or four seam. That's a good read by Jasper. Goes into the center field. There he is in scoring position. So uh, base hit can end this thing. You're asking about the grip, Ben. Well. Oh, now he's 90 feet away. Be three one. Yep. That's right at him. Man. So there will be a sixth inning. All right, well, we'll be back for the six. It's Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Since 1986, Southeast Carriers, Inc. has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, visit southeastcarriers.com. Lincoln Wilson's up to bat. Well, he don't get <laughs> he don't get a friendly welcome because that ball is about a foot outside. Wow. I wonder if he can hear me. What spot is he hitting? One one. Uh, he's in Peyton's spot, which is like what five? Kimbrough, yeah. Because he's you know. One and two. Hey, oh. 
go, go, go. Well, no. Alright, so just a strike out. Alright. Struck him out, tagged him out, he dropped the third strike. Now batting number 43, Kevin Stagg, one out. He's on there? Okay. Guest commentator Asher Emerson is on here with us. How are you, Asher? Good. How are you? Well, I'm doing all right. So, uh, you had a well, – tell us what's going on, Asher. Call it. Who's feeling that? Uh, Josiah Emerson, my little brother. Josiah Emerson. Anything you want to critique him about while you're on air, <laughs> while you have the chance? Um, our season is really good this year, and I think we could – got a shot at winning state. Came pretty close last year. Yes. Was it the championship last year or the semis that you made it to? Base, Kaufman baseball. Semis? Your season lasted mo longer than most high school seasons last year. You got a runner going. You were still playing when Summertown baseball was over, I know. It comes up throwing. I wanted to say I was watching Kaufman baseball while I was streaming softball substate. It, it lasted at least that long, I know. That's pretty long for a season yeah. that starts on, on President's Day. Yeah. Valentine's Day, President's Day, sometimes. Oh. Quick out there. Right, second out. Ashley, what grade are you in this year? Seventh grade. So you got another year of middle school basketball coming up? Yes, sir. How do you feel about your team next year? I think we're going to be really good. How many fellow eighth graders will you have coming back next year? You know, you're, I mean, seventh grade this year, but it will be eighth graders with you next year. Uh, we'll have quite a few. There's a lot of seventh graders last year on the team. It was Nielsen. Was he an eighth grader? Uh, yes, sir. There it out. That's it. So we head to the bottom of the sixth. Summertown's only going to have one more shot at this. but uh, And if Kaufman were to score another run, it's over. Am I correct? I think so. All right. We'll be back for that. It's middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. That is a good question. Where is uh, is Cannon Staggs in the field anywhere? I think, he's, I think he went to left field. 
Okay. All right, bottom of six. Kaufman looking to walk it off. Uh, it's got the height. <laughs> it's got the height, he says. Not the distance. Yeah. All right. He's been a tough out to get today. One pitch, one out. Now, yeah. Asher, Asher who, who's the uh, who's Kaufman basketball coach? Um, Logan Nunley. All right. That was his first year last year, wasn't it? Yes, sir. He coached JV, and then he went up to varsity. Okay. Now, does uh, older brother play basketball? Uh, no, just baseball. Okay. Now, do any of y'all golf? Uh, me. You're the golfer. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm. Ouch. Hit well. by pitch. Now batting number 10, Chase Carr. Chase Carr. Ball one. Now you're listening to it all the time. Ball low. Two and oh. So again, with Summertown plays South Lawrence on Monday to start the tournament that does matter. That was determined before today even began because this had no bearing on that. And then uh, Kaufman will host here on Monday Lincoln County. And y'all were just there a few days ago, right? Beat them clearly. Kaufman will be 20 and 0 after this game here. Base hit up the middle. Or is it first and second? One out. 20-0 20 20 is um, not too shabby, I must say. You know, usually at the middle school level, <laughs> you'll at least have one or two games where you'll make enough errors to let someone else beat you. But you had uh, one loss all of last season in the regular season, I believe, with um, Battle Creek. And then no losses this year. It's uh, quite a run. And you would expect good things for Lawrence County High School in the next few years. On the left field. Mm. Tried to get the out at second. Now the runner's going to advance. Two outs. Runner at first and third. So winning run, third base. Cole Elledge, and we're going to have a mound visit. Surely not making another change here. <laughs> Maybe not. So Asher, are you the better golfer than, are you better than your dad at golf? Absolutely. How, how, um, how good does he tell you he was at baseball in high school? He said it's pretty good, but I don't believe it. Don't believe it to us. Because there's no video evidence of there, is, is it? Yeah, he's too old for video evidence. <laughs> too old for video evidence. Mm. I think we have one game. I've sent him one clip, and it did look like it looks like 60s footage, really. <laughs> All right, this this is gonna do it. Yep. Yeah, winning run. And that is the ball, game. the ball game. Summertown is going to win. Uh, Summertown is going to lose to Kaufman, 11 to three. And so Kaufman has won the conference championship uh, today. And like I said, they'll go ahead and play 
Lincoln County on Monday. Summertown will host South Lawrence. Uh, Summertown has a doubleheader on Monday. It'll be um, a middle school game at 5 versus South Lawrence, and then at 7, the all-important high school district game against Lewis County. So for Adam Kennig, Asher Emerson, Ben Emerson, and Jeff Clifton, Will Pettis, this has been Middle School Baseball on the Exports Network. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. Going the distance with local sports. This is the